Okay. So this video title is a bit odd. I know. Okay, speaking into existence. It almost sounds as though I've just become Christian and heavily Christian and I'm in a cult. I'm not. Okay, I'm here to tell you right now. I, I think I'm agnostic. I think that's in between atheist and religious. I just don't know. All right. But I found something really interesting, right? There is this verse. It's very famous. You'll have heard of it before. And it goes, God said, let there be light. Okay, and it's kind of interesting, okay, because light is obviously very powerful, all right, and it's referring to like the darkness that was in the world, but then God said, let there be light, and he's meant to be this all-powerful figure, right? Now, I don't know what your stance is on religion, okay, this is just how I see it, and I think there's a lot of power to see within this, okay? Now, there is a lot, of, what he said, all right, because God is meant to be this all-powerful figure, okay, everything that he does is going to be quite important, Okay, the fact that he said, he said, like God said, let there be light. He didn't think, let there be light. That means there's power in actually saying something because it actually legitimizes it. Okay, it no longer sits in the chaos of your head, but it's actually out there in the world. People can see it. People can feel it. Okay, you can write it down. It's there. Okay, it is no longer in your head. There is power in speech. There is power in speaking something. I'm not saying to you that you need to always say everything that's on your mind. You do not have to do it all the time, okay? That is that is called being kind of dumb because you don't think before you say something, okay? Especially if it's a very sensitive thing, but that is not super important right now, okay? What I want you to do is that if you have a goal, okay, whatever that goal is, if you're an artist, it could be writing a song, it could be writing an album, it could be a very easy, not an easy goal, but just a goal in general. Maybe you want to start going to the gym more, Okay, what I want you to do is go to your friend, okay, ask your friend or say to your friend, I have a goal in mind, this is what it is, can you help me be accountable, can you let me know that I'm slacking off, alright, this is going to be quite scary to do, I won't lie, okay, because a lot of people are quite afraid of actually legitimizing their own goals, but the fact is, if you don't legitimize your goals, it is much harder to actually see it come into fruition, right? Even with these videos, I can I basically publish these videos, obviously, just online. Anyone in the world can see it at any time, right? But everything I'm saying is being legitimized. I'm being very careful with what I say, all right? Now, of course, I can get better and better, and I will, I, I'm trying to work on that, okay? But to say something, to put it out there to someone will always make it more tangible and you are more likely to work hard on it as well. At the very least, that's what I found with this channel, okay? So if this friend is also very good at keeping you, or just a good friend in general, like you trust them, they will keep you accountable, okay? Whatever that goal is. Your one goal might be like, yeah, I can't, I'm working on like um, a painting. I just want to finish it, okay? Just draw them a picture, like, what do you think? All right, you'll get some social validation from them. It feels kind of good, okay? But then that'll, that'll kind of make you want to finish it, all right? That's actually quite exciting. And then your friend might actually have another goal, and uh, a goal in their mind. You can kind of like bounce between each other, all right? You can help each other, okay? But I understand so I'll not, I'll, not everyone will have that kind of friend. Not everyone will have like super goal-striving friends, okay? You might be the only person that really wants a lot in their life, which I know it sounds ridiculous, but there's not a ton of people that are working that are willing to be kind of quite different, especially in the art world anyway. It's very, very competitive, this industry. But what I want you to do, especially if you have some sort of goal, all right, is that I want you to, okay, if it's like music anyways, I don't know how you would do it for poetry. I really don't, I'll be completely honest. But especially if it's for music, what I want you to do is actually put down in the comment section, like, I want... I'm going to upload a song in one week or two weeks, okay? Write yourself a deadline, okay? Or even, better yet, if you don't want to put it out in the public, all right, which I think you're a wuss for doing, but if you don't want to put it in the, out in the public, you can email me. Okay, you can email me your song, okay? And you can, <laughs> you can message me, I'm going to write a song, all right? I'll email back saying, okay, bet. All right, and then you better do it. If you don't do it, then 
I, I, to be fair, I can't do too much, but right now, if I could, I know YouTube doesn't like violence, but if I could, I would punch you, okay? I would punch you. I will be the big brother that you might have never had, okay? But I will punch you if, <laughs> if you don't publish that song, okay? Because I want artists to reach the goals, all right? In somewhat unconventional ways, like telling you off, I guess, all right? But I want you to get better. So if you found this helpful, uh, please subscribe, okay? I make videos like these. I try to make them as often as I can, all right? And hopefully I will see you in the next video, all right? And also, if you have any video ideas, suggestions, let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear it, okay? I will see you later. Bye-bye.